And hey, welcome back to Gator Snapper Playthrough. Frambo or the mystery continues. We came back to reality from fucking God knows where. Probably just me tripping out in the middle of a ditch. And yeah, we seem to be at a graveyard now. The Weeping Angel right there. So let's continue on with this. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? Finishing business. And he just pushes me into a grave. Buries me alive. Then it's all Kill Bill from there. You'll see. Come on. Follow me. You're really not trustworthy. Hmm. Oh, wait. Well, I can actually look at this. Wow. Hello, Stone Woman. Are you sleepy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. Okay, then. Good observation, Fran. Ooh, wait. Can I break into his car? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, crowbar. I will take that. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Can I mess with the thing? Gearbox. A little... Okay, whatever. Uh, back out of this. And let us... Whoa. Uh, be right back. That was my game crashing. All right, I'm back. That actually it brought me back into a pretty nice, weird place right in the middle of the car. Anyways, got the crowbar. Continue on with life. Crash again? No, it is not. Perfect. Can I use a crowbar on his car? Just, you know, smash it up into little pieces. Why can't I... Oh, wait. I can't grab anything. There we go. Never mind. It's all good. Use crowbar with car. It can't be done. It can be done. You're just not trying hard enough, Ran. All right, let's just follow after the good doctor and see what fucking weird shit he wants us to do. Hello. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours! It's a fucking ghost of Christmas future uh, right here. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but with things how they are, your parents were killed. I didn't quite read that right. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. So we're gonna fucking unbury them. Or... Dig them up. That sounds better than unbury. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we'll have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. Isn't this kind of like vigilanteism? Nah, okay. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. You know, grave robbery. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedly worms that came already. I want to just call them the deedly worms. Sounds better than deadly. Who? who? Uh, whatever. Anyway, we have to find shovels today. I'll go left and you can go right. Yeah, go left. Back to your car. Thanks, asshole. Go read a newspaper or something. See you in a few minutes right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Deer, and I'll see you soon. What a fucking weirdo. Look at his walk. He's so stupid. Alright, continue. Oh, wait. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah. What do you know? That is definitely me. Doggenhart. That is such a cool last name. Doggenhart. Can I take the teddy bear? Can I take anything? No. Okay, cool. Probably very... Oh, is this for the bad smell? Oh, wow. Damn, Fred. Really brought that fucking... Fred Roses for Rotten Bodies. Ooh, that actually sounds like a good name for something. Don't know what yet. No name, no flyers. Maybe nobody's down there. She is very pleased with herself for making that observation. Okay, can I mess with this? Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Yeah, a very convenient shovel storage room. Well, I have just the thing for such a thing. Fuck you, do door. Oh, did that work? Oh, oh, it's one of you guys again. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Uh oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, a giant. No, well, I mean, I guess. I don't know, there's so many different iterations of giants. I guess that could be a giant. Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giant would see us. Yeah. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, yes, very bug eyed, very creepy. I am Sebastian, by the way, the tribe collector. The, the tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. But right now, we are trying to find tiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. You're weird. I'm ten! Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used all human skin, but the deedly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Uh, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. Oh, you don't want to see what's going on in there. You ever see the end of Pulp Fiction? It's like that. I'm just starting to turn into like a weird, nerdy, lispy voice. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? Hmm, alright, I'll see what I can do. I have a very good idea. He did say synthetic leather, since apparently the deedly worms don't want to give up any of their fucking nice skin. And I guess since the only thing around here that has leather in it is this car, 
yeah, we'll just fucking tear a piece off of it. Uh, I don't know what it is with some of the puzzles in this game where I'm just like, I don't understand it, and other ones just make sense. Where it's like, hey, let's tear up a man's car just because. Yeah, there we go. Whoops, what a big hole I made. I have the leather now. Yeah, seriously. It's like a destructive fucking mindset I have right here. It gets me what I want, so I'll do it. It's fine. Alright, let's just give this to the weird fucking perverted pine cones and see what they do. The weird, uh, wait, the per promiscuous pervy pine, sco pine scones. Damn it, can't even make a fucking right joke right. Alright, here you go. Have, uh, have fun with this leather. Ugh, he sounds just like I was making him sound. And that is also pretty creepy. Wow, thank you, giant bitch. I tried your pine yellows. Pine zealous? God, I don't even know my own heritage. Yeah, uh, they'll be happy. And now open the door just a second. Yeah, uh, there you go, little miss. Why didn't I just break it down with the crowbar? Aww, it's kind of adorable, but also disgusting. Because they're gonna mate like no one's business. Ouch. Are you all right, Sebastian? S Sebastian? Oh, he's fine. I was gonna hit him with a crowbar to make sure he's not dead. I mean, uh, I'm all right, miss. Yes. G good. Well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh, Fabio! Oh, are they gonna go- Oh, they're gonna get right down to fucking. I gotta see this. I wanna see how pine cones make. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the ledger. So, I guess- God, that is so weird to watch. I'm guessing they're just some weird BDSM shit. I just realized. I'm in the real world and I saw that kind of shit. Something is very odd here. I don't- There's nothing in here I could use. You serious? Not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. I can't dig with a broom. So, the noise that I assumed was his footsteps as he is running away, is that, is that them fucking right now? They just doing, doing the d dirty nasty deed right over to the left? Let's check, I wanna see this, be funny. Oh good, you found, at least you were successful at founding us. Look Fred, there you are, I found a Fred pair of shovels, let's dig. I only saw the one, but, oh god, I actually have to help him. God, mommy and daddy, are you down there? I'll see you soon. You always forget just how crazy this girl is. Alright, let's just help the old dude out. There we go. Hey, we found the treasure chest. They're kind of not all that far buried down, are they? I thought the general rule was six feet under. That is less than a foot. That is very disrespectful. Well, now we have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I need it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fred, but you can do the honors opening the coffin. Don't say it like it's a fucking awesome thing I'm doing. We're grave ro grave robbing on my own parents' graves. I'll open them. Jesus, I have to do all the work around here. Fucking pop the... Uh, well, let's do one at a time. Pa oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, pop. Pop. And ha. Huh. Ooh. Hey, Dad. How you doing? He doesn't look so bad. He doesn't look nearly as decapitated as he was before. Oh my goodness, Father. The deedly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, Daddy? Uh, well, let's see what Mom has to say. Open it up, Mom's just like, Fred, you were a bad child. Hello, Mom. Oh, Mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Mommy. I mean, at least her craziness gives her, like this option of seeing her dead parents in, like, a, a lighter sense, I suppose. And also, they're really not shopped up at all. Although, then again, I guess that would be the job of the, uh, what do you call them? The, the grave preppers, or the body preppers, to make them look, you know, not horrifying. Oh. That's not a... Is that what I looked like as a kid? Jesus, what is... Is that, is that like a... Oh, it's a cat. Oh... Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin. Great, but that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. I'll name you Albert. Wow. This is a... Uh, I think that was Mr. Midnight. Now I'm sad. Uh, she's gonna find out sooner or later. Do you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? Uh, no, no, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. Yeah, good. That's something a normal child should feel. I know I was just complimenting her on not feeling that way earlier, but whatever. Also, that dead cat's not my cat. They're lying! F Fran, I told you, your cat was missing and maybe this one's actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. No. You're fucking crazy, Fran. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. 
So let's let's go. So we gonna rebury my parents or something? Okay, bye. All right, cool. I guess I'll just fucking leave this be as well. Awesome. God, this is such a shit. Like the reality of this situation would be so fucked up. God, anyone that's like Fran, I am so sorry. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? This has implications. Dr. Deeren was just taken out of reality. Uh, but no, it could still be just a trick of Fran's mind. I'm trying to really, really... I should continue on with the fucking plot of this. This is the one voice from long ago I remember. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Because I just really wanted to bring up the fact that you had no manners. I've taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect and the one you desire to love you. Who are we talking- I don't know who- who at all you're talking about at any turn of that conversation. Oh, well I guess he's going for me now. Oh, my soul- oh, Jesus. Oh boy. Did- did I lose? Did I- did I die? Did I fuck up? Did I fuck the dog? Fuck the pooch? Oh, cool. Next chapter, I guess? Huh. You broken little girl. <laughs> Uh, oh, there I am. Uh, how you doing, Fred? The House of Madness invites you inside. I mean, it's not really a house, more of a birdcage, but uh, I think you'll find it pretty comfortable. Oh, Jesus, girl, what happened to your chest? If you want to find those you love. Uh, in darkness, you must wake up. Can I, if I click this, does it skip the whole thing or just the fucking... Very slow dialogue. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up! Why am I telling you to wake up? That seems to be against what I'm wishing for. Uh, then again, I guess if you realize a shitty situation you're in, I'd feel pretty good about it. The House of Madness with all fucking proper- Get it properly punctuated. It's bothering me. I write a lot and that- Oh, uh, did it- Okay, good. I thought it was crashing again. Oh. This is a normal- Oh, but I'm chained up. Huh. Weird. Also, her arms are very creepily, creepily long right there. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. You know, ap after you unchain me? Soon, my darling. A and wh where's Mr. Midnight? Your, your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. Well, he ran away, but what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. Are you f I thought I was crazy. You're talking about a cat killing my parent? No, you're just fucking crazy. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It's like the end of st the uh, sixth Star Wars? No, fifth. Fifth Star Wars movie. Uh, anyways, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? You mean a scapegoat? Those are fucking terrible. Because then the real fucking killer is still out there, you stupid woman. But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You'll need it. But, but, oh, Grace, don't, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight, and I really have to go to the bathroom. I will make a mess here with no fucking qualms. Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. Seek of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed, sleep tight. You're really creepy. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Also, if you need to go to the bathroom, there's a bottle to your left. Just, like, completely ruined the mood of that situation with something completely weird. Oh, also, that's not a door. That is a wall. Uh, no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. Soft, I disagree. I've been scratched by many a cat in my day. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Actually, that's a very good question. Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Ooh, parallel universe shit. I like that. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Deeren said that everything is in my head. So, <laughs> use item and it's just head. 
or do I click my head? Let's. Oh God, kind of wanted the episode right here, but let's. No, um, let's see what's going on. Arg, the nurse is always chained me to the bed. Oh, maybe I'm chained to the bed and. and oh, okay. Huh. You know when she said just use her head, I figured I'd be doing it like right here. I painted this. It's Kitty and me. Huh. That's weird. I kind of figured like since they said to use my head, I could just. Uh, come through the window to save me. Okay. Oh. oh. Oh! Oh, that worked! And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, she's... This Fran is in, um, an insane asylum. Or an asylum. Also, she seems younger than me. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed. This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you're chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Hmm. Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You, you think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the Ultra Reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen much since the crash. You're, you crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? I think about it. The only way to cross into Ultra Reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. This is Dragon Ball Z. I gotta push beyond the limit! That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, no, not at all. That's stupid. They just told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who, who, who's they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. D do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, the guy that wrote the book. Cool. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see things we do? See the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs for us? Then we'll talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Also, it's very surreal to talk to myself like this. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? My god, you live in a reality without a cat. You must be a dog person. That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm playing his other friend now. That is so neat. But anyways, I'm going to end this episode right here on a very fucking ah, cliffhanger area. So yeah, Minigator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.